how to create a landing page with car.co so hi guys the first thing that we're going to do is to simply open our browser and go to card.co and basically you will be routed to their landing page right here so basically you can build one page sites for pretty much anything with card.co let me just show you here so actually guys it's actually for free but they also have a pro um, account so for the pro account you can have custom domains more sites forms widgets and embeds branding or no branding rather and your google analytics basically you can try it for free for seven days um but you need to input your paypal account or your credit card information right there as for me i'm gonna show you how to make use of the free account now let's choose a starting point so here above in the menu options you can see all profile landing form portfolio section so what we're going to make for today's video is a landing page so let's select landing here are some of the templates that you can make use of to, you know, um, change your landing page or make your landing page. If you see this one here, Pro, it means to say that free users could not make use of it. Just like in Canva, if you see the crown icon in Canva, then it means that you or if you're a free user, you cannot use it. Now, here are useful instructions before we get started. So here, for the plus sign, it means you can add elements like text, images, etc. Now, for this rewind button, you can undo previous action. For this opposite rewind action, you can redo the next action. If you want to preview any animations, you can click on the play button right here. Now, if you see this mobile icon, it means to say that you can switch to mobile view. Now, here, this floppy disk icon means to say that you can save your um, changes or save your landing page all right and lastly for this hamburger icon that we have right here it is for more actions or for more options now you just need to drag and drop elements to arrange them basically so click on an element to bring up to its properties and let's get started okay now here is our default landing page basically so if we click on a specific element like this one or header or the site title we are be going to be routed to this page right here okay so in the left hand side we can actually edit our site titles um, name there now the next part is our appearance. Under appearance, you can change the color of the heading basically. Like say for instance, we want to make it yellow. So let's drag it to the yellow of our choice. Okay, there. Once done, you could also choose the heading or the kind of heading that we have. I'm going to stick with heading number 1. You can also change the name of the heading, basically. Now, you could also change the font style. So, there. Okay, let's experiment on the best font style that we can make use of, basically. All right, there. I'm going to have this one. Okay, now you could also resize it by simply sliding left or right right if you want it bigger and left if you want it smaller you could also add weight to the um, letters and also line spacing if you want to have a wider line spacing you can swipe right but if you want to have the opposite swipe left okay you could also indent your text there and add some margins as well okay now the next part is your appearance section so here you can actually choose whether you have it normal lowercase uppercase small caps but let's stick with the uppercase 
Okay, now next is our alignment. So basically, this is where you want to align your site title. There, I want it centered. Now, next here is for the mobile. Here, you can actually see the mobile options. If you want to edit that one out, then you could do so as well. Simply slide, um, slide right and left on the buttons. Okay, next is here in our subheading or our paragraph section. We can actually um, backspace and input our, you know, paragraph right here. So, for instance, welcome to our page. There. And add more information if you want to. Alrighty. So here, we're just going to use the normal one and not the uppercase. And there you have it. You could also change the color. You know, it's basically what I did in the first one. You just need to navigate it, uh, basically. And let me just put it in the center. Okay. Now, the next thing that we're going to do is let's try to add some something in our container. So here you can add columns, basically. But I'm going to stick with the one that I have a while ago, which is our default. Okay. In the appearance section, basically, it's still the same thing. But for the background, we can add some color. Or you could also choose gradient if you want to. So the, these are like two colors. And you can actually choose your choice of color as well for this option. Two colors. Okay, now you could also add an image. So for example, we're going to upload an image right here. I'm just going to choose one image from my files. All right. So this one. And let me resize or reposition um, like how much of the picture I would want to be shown onto my page there. And accept. There you have it. It's been added to my page or in the container section basically. Now you can position it. You can have tile for this one, horizontal, vertical, and whatnot. But basically, I'm just going to turn this off because I'm good to go with this one. All right. And then, once you're done editing this page, click on Done. Now, let's navigate more sections here. So, I'm going to try to edit the background here. So, here, let's have Gradient there and let's choose the color all right there you have it and let's choose another color for the second gradient color okay all right once done choosing the color simply scroll down and let's try to edit this page or this section right here so in the section, you can actually add a photo if you want to. So let's try uploading a photo right here. Uh, let me just choose one picture from this one. Okay, so basically size or images from with 2 MB and more, you cannot post that or add that in your page. Okay, let me just have this one instead. All right. So basically, this does not have a background. So later on, you would see uh, right there. Now, you can also put an alternative text or a link URL. So for example, if you do have a Shopify account, Facebook account, or anything, you can put your URL here and click on Done afterwards. And then here in the Appearance section, you just need to navigate that one. Your um, images can also be animated, actually. So, yeah. Now, here, again, you just need to... Um, let's try the buttons this time. 
So here in the buttons, you can add a label to it. So I play shop now right here. And in this one, you can put arrow down, arrow right, our arrow left, whatnot. So let's just stick with the arrow down light for this one. And then um, I'm going to add like a Shopify button as well. So that it would be easier for people to go and like shop into my Shopify page once the landing page has been created, basically. All right. Uh, sometimes it takes some time to load. I'm actually having troubles with, um, with the, you know, going down to the drop down. So yes. Okay. Oh, I think I inputted the wrong icon. So let me just go ahead and look for Shopify. You need to have a lot of patience, basically. Okay, almost there. Let's just look for Shopify. Okay. So if not over, it may, you know, go that far. So we need to be very careful when scrolling down, basically. Okay, there I see Shopify already. Okay, click on it, but it's showing another option. So here, under Shopee, I think this is Shopify, so I'm going to click on that one. All right, there. So you can see the Shopify um, icon right there. And you just need to input the URL of your Shopify page. You could also add a button. So for example, if you do have like a Facebook page, then you could have that there as well. Okay. So you have more options, basically. Now let's click on done. Let's try to see the page. Okay, there you have it. Now, let's try to see our mobile view for our landing page. Okay, so this is how it looks like when we are scrolling through our mobile. Okay, now once you're done and good to go, click on save or this floppy disk icon in the upper right side. And if you publish it here in the left hand panel, you just need to input your name, email, password, confirm your password, um, input the title, the description, and publish to a .card co URL and simply publish. And that's how you create a landing page in card.co. That's about it for today's video. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed.